Ever wondered how videos can look smooth and lifelike even when captured at lower frame rates? It's all thanks to a process called video interpolation. Video interpolation is a technique that creates new frames in between existing ones. By analyzing the motion in a video, interpolation estimates how objects move and then generates additional frames. The result? Smoother playback and more fluid motion. Now, meet Real Video Enhancer, a powerful and easy-to-use tool designed to bring video interpolation and upscaling to your fingertips, no matter your operating system. Originally based on the Rife ESRGAN app for Linux, this enhanced version supports Linux, macOS, and Windows. Whether you're working on videos for personal or professional projects, this tool is designed to deliver quality and ease all in one. So yesterday, uh, I was creating videos using Control Next SVD, and the output was 15 FPS. So I was looking for something so that I can increase the frame rate to 30 FPS by interpolation. So I came across this tool, which helps to interpolate and upscale, and it works on all major operating systems, and also it is regularly updated. So I'm going to quickly cover how to install it on Windows, and then basic guide on how to use it. So it's very easy to install. Just click on the releases section. Then this is the latest version. <clears throat> so these are the alpha and beta versions that you will see or pre-release versions. Then there are final versions, which is 1.2.0. So I will explain how to use the latest alpha version. So click on the assets here and download this zip file. So this is for Windows and this one is for Linux. Now after downloading, you will see the zip file. Just right click on this 7-zip extract here and it, it will extract the files in real-video-enhancer. Now you will see an executable file here. So there are two folders and one executable. Just double click on this executable and wait for the installer to launch. So it will download all the dependencies automatically. We just have to select what we want to install. For you, it might also come with an option to upgrade to WSL2 on Windows. So just select yes. In that case, I already upgraded it, so it may not appear for me. Now you will get this screen, which says set up the backend. So what is it that you want to use? I will select PyTorch CUDA because I have NVIDIA graphics card. So you can select depending on your graphics card, whatever you have, you can select based on that. So select on this and will it will automatically install the dependency. Now once the torch with CUDA is installed, just click on done. And after that, you will see the interface. So this is just the home screen. Here you have to specify the input file, video file. Here you have to specify the output folder. Then what is the backend that you want to use? In my case, it is PyTorch. Then whether you want to interpolate or upscale. So I did not see good results with upscale. So I will only cover interpolate, but the process remains the same. Now these are the models that are available in this rife model since it is based on rife you can select the models here then interpolation modifier so suppose i have a video with 15 fps and i want to make it 30 fps so i will make it 2.0 if i want to make it 60 fps from 15 so then we have to enter 4 here and then rest benchmark mode i don't know what it does i have not tried it here it will show the information and then you can start using the process using this after making the selection there are some settings here like we will leave it as default encoder you can choose between these encoders i will leave it as a libx 264 and then if you want to enable the preview then you can select this. This is the backend. So later on, if you want to 
change the backend from maybe CUDA to something else, you can select from here. So to test the functionality, I've picked one of the sample output from control next. So this is 15 FPS. We can see here, frame rate. So to make it more smooth, we'll utilize real video enhancer. So here we select the input file. Then you have to select the output folder, otherwise it will default to the profile videos folder. So I want to save it in the same place. I will just rename it to 60 FPS. Okay, it only lets you select folder. And then you have to manually change the extension from MKB to MP4. Now backend will be PyTorch, method is interpolation. I will leave it as default. Now I will change the multiply to four. I want to create it from 15 FPS to 60 FPS. Everything else remains the same. So click on process button. So processing is complete. It took only a few seconds. And if we look at the output video, so here we have 60 FPS. Now I've just created one basic HTML page just to review it side by side. Left one is the 15 FPS and right one is the 60 FPS video. Good. Thank you.